Today I've decided uh, to try it, uh, Star View app to see to see how where stars are located in the sky. So right now I'm going to it's not completely dark outside. I'm going to the hill, so I'll be able to use this app uh, more efficiently. Now I wanted to use this app for quite a long time and I didn't. Uh, the thing is that with the iPad it probably wouldn't be a good idea to use because the, the low light quality of the sensor is not that good. So I'm using it on my OnePlus 6 so theoretically it should work really nice. So here's a plane in the sky. It's a beautiful view, but you can see there's still light here. Oh, some apps like um, this one uh, requires a good camera, apparently, because look, I'm recording the same footage with the iPhone 5S and just look how dark it is. Now here I'm using the app um, on my OnePlus 6, as you can see, the camera is much better. It was able to bring up those uh, clouds in the sky and overall the image appears uh, much brighter. So I was able to see, the, actually see the stars in the sky and align them with the ones, uh, the augmented one from the app. As you can see, you can just rotate it around. Uh, and see where the augmented stars uh, appear in the sky. Uh, they should be aligned uh, quite accurately with the real stars. Um, as you can see, the moon is now uh, positioned uh, very close to where the real one is. Something is not 1% accurate, yeah, but it's pretty close to where the original location of the stars are. Pretty impressive. You can use uh, this app to locate solar systems, stars, constellations, brightest satellites, nebulae, galaxies, and uh, messier objects. One of the most uh, beautiful and uh, immersive uh, night gazing app uh, that I've seen so far in augmented reality. It also has a feature called Sky Paths uh, that allows you to track any object to see its exact location in the sky on any date and time. You can also jump to the future or the past and see the sky on different dates and times. For me it was a very very amazing experience. I felt like I'm browsing through the skies, through the cosmos. This is the free version of the app, uh, so not all celestial objects are available for you. Still, doesn't matter. You really have to download and try it out. Most of the uh, popular uh, objects are there and you can observe them and see their location uh, and have fun. This is the first time I knew where Jupiter is when looking at the sky. I wasn't in a hurry, I just stood there and I took my time, I gazed to the sky and I just started browsing almost every little celestial entity that I saw augmented in the sky. Just a beautiful, beautiful view. The night sky just turned to something else, you know, suddenly, you know, it's just not just looking at the sky and seeing uh, little white dots, I mean, every one of them it's something, something you can learn about. It's amazing. The app has a search feature that allows you to quickly locate celestial objects. Here I'm searching for Mars. There is an arrow that points me where Mars is located. So I can quickly locate it and I can get a bit more information about it. Thank you. 
here I'm using the night mode filter uh, that uh, darkens the UI so it's less um, uh, visible and less intrusive. I also find it easier to locate uh, the real uh, uh, celestial object in the sky because they are white and uh, uh, these ones are red. Uh, here I'm searching for the Milky Way. It points me where it is. Have you ever wondered where Hubble Telescope is located? Well, you can do this with this uh, app as well. Let's check it out. Oh, it's actually close to be underneath me. On the other side of Earth where I'm located. Nice. Mm, let's search for some other stars. One that I've never heard before. Huh? I can't even pronounce this name. On yet? Oh, I really like the moon today. So beautiful behind the clouds. Beautiful. Overall, it's a very, very good experience and I can't wait to try it out. Uh, hopefully in a, uh, a day without clouds and in a better location. And I'll share this with you uh, very soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you.